On this deserted Pacific island, a hundred thousand pounds is waiting to be discovered. Over five weeks, it, bundles of cash will be dropped across this brutal paradise. We've hit the jackpot! Come on! Oh my god! In the face of adversity, Twelve ordinary Brits must survive long enough to find and keep the money. I need to take as much as I can from this island. If you leave early, you leave with nothing. Welcome to the jungle. Oof. Mark and I have found a lot of money. I've also found money. Have you? So far, the islanders have found £55,000. So there's no way you're sharing it with us? No. But not everyone came clean about how they discovered the money. I've been fleeced. There's been a load of gun flapping about this money. It's simple. Ask yourself, do you want to keep it or do you want to share it? That's it. As divisions deepen... What's happened to the sisterhood? There is no sisterhood, Alyssa. The group is struggling to find enough food to survive. The amount of food now is just unbelievable. I just feel hungry and thirsty. <laughs> this is life and death. I tell you what, that shit made me feel so much better. I'll move it. Shit ball! God, this camp has fallen down in its levels of hygiene to its lowest of the low. Hopefully, that'll be the last we've seen of that. For the last week, the islanders have been surviving on little more than a handful of fish, coconuts and Morag and Irene's winkle broth. I am absolutely starving. Pretty much seven days with three scoops of fish and a couple of coconuts. All I've got on my mind is full fat cork and the greasy Nando's. I really hope we don't come across a shit that Ben has done. The two oldest members of the group, Morag and Irene, are the only islanders not to have found any money themselves. Whilst Marco and Ivor are keeping hold of their share of £35,000. The more I think about Ivor and Marco lying next to us with 17 and a half grand in their bloody bank pockets. accounts or pockets, and we're feeding them and giving them broth. And I just think, you've got bloody £17,500 of, of our group money. And I, I just think, how selfish. And Ivor, he's, he's Lord Mountbatten, for God's sake. I think people would describe me as certainly not boring. My parents are both artists and art teachers. So it was a fairly liberal, bohemian upbringing in Camden in the, in the 1970s. The money in my life has been very up and down. When I was younger, I was a single mum living in a council flat. It was hard. Now, I'm a property manager with my husband. We've got a portfolio of houses that we rent out to tenants. I would like there to be loads of money on the island. Right here, guys. The more I think about it, the more interested I am in thinking of ways I would spend it. Cheers, my dears. Good luck. Oh, there's one. Got it. <laughs> well, Marco's got a handful, I've got a handful. Just wash them off and put them in the pot. There we go. Ivor, I just feel we've all been sharing everything. We've all been sharing winkles, sprats, yeah. coconuts. And then I just 
when I was lying in bed this morning, I thought, I'm lying next to people who've got £17,500. Ultimately, I care about my family before you guys. Sorry. We've all come together, don't know you guys before we met. Likelihood, won't know you guys when we leave. What's important, my family or you guys? Marco and I would survive really happily on our own. We were out there getting all these sprats, which we're sharing with you. Oh, yeah. come on. With, with Fucking everybody. hell, eat your sprats. Do you no, know what? No, no. I don't want a sprat. I don't want a sprat. But listen, stop it. Just sit down and don't be so juvenile. You're the one that started this. I'm just telling you the facts of life. Do you know what? I'm glad I don't live in your world, then. Do you believe that living like that, haul up the ladder jack, I'm all right, fuck the others, I'm all right? It's not, it's not I'm all right. We're working for it, aren't we? We haven't sat on our asses and the money just come and fall in our laps, has it? We've all been working in our own little ways. Great. But you were lucky. Yeah, that, you know, life is luck. There's always haves and there's always the have-nots. Yeah. And that's life. Tosser. It's like a little microcosm of, of what goes on in the real world. Yeah, the haves have generally because they work for it. And if you're going to take it away from them, and, and they're not going to be incentivized to do anything, and yet the haves are the ones that pay the taxes, that pay the haves not. Silly old champagne socialist. <laughs> Shut up. And I love oh, you, I Ivan. I love you. I love you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wind you up something wrong <laughs> for the next couple of two weeks. And I will eat one of your sprats. <laughs> Even if it chalks her. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for the right sort of uh, wood. To take his mind off the lack of food, Ben is trying to make himself useful around camp. Jim? What's up? Just show me your best cutting technique. They fairly decent swings at it. There you go. It makes it look easy, doesn't it? <laughs> Ben, um, I think his heart's in the right place. Competence is more a question. Just <laughs> got to be careful not to take off my leg. I'm a double glazing salesman. I'm motivated by making money. I want the big house. I want the cars, the watches and stuff like that. You know, in my life, I've always put myself first. I've always been number one drinking five days on the bend and doing things that I shouldn't. But uh, I've recently found out that I'm going to be a dad, uh, which is the most amazing news to me in the world. It's kind of changed everything for me. It's no longer me, it's, it's me and a, and a little one as well. I want to be able to show my little girl I can nail it and I want to make her proud. Oops, long bloody side. I wouldn't usually associate myself with building, but it's actually quite rewarding, you know. I'm not the most practical person, I'm not a DIY person. Usually if I need something doing, I either find someone to do it or hire someone to do it. This island's teaching me new lessons every day. Oh. Makes fishing feel easy. Never felt as bad as I have today. Me neither. But we've not had fish for how many days? I don't know, lost count. Yeah, me too. The soaring temperatures and extreme lack of food is taking its toll on the islanders. I'm going to go and sit up with Irene for a little bit. Is she breathing? Oh my God, she's actually died on us. 
It was finally too much. <laughs> Come on, a big shark, please. Morag joins Ben and Kat, who've been trying to catch fish for the last three hours. Six fish today we've had. Not one of them's fucking edible. So far, all they have managed to catch are puffer fish, so poisonous that if eaten, they will kill you within 24 hours. I tell you what, if a puffer fish gets on the end of this, it's getting volleyed off, because I can't handle another puffy fish. I Many women created puffer fish. What good do they do? Have you got one? No, I'm snugged as fuck. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely a fish. Oh, you bastard. Puffer fish. The only fish we don't want to fucking catch. Fuck off. What if we don't get any food today? I'm going to be in a heap of shit. <sighs> Everyone's going to start to nosedive if they don't eat something today. I'm just growing weaker and weaker. Yeah. I'm so hungry. My body's really starting to break down now. My blood pressure's super low. I'm just feeling dizzier and dizzier. Oh, my God! Oh, I feel dizzy and really bad. Sit down. Oh, flip me, what's happened? I just went all dizzy and then my nose started bleeding. Right, you need to lie down, OK? OK, just lie down for a second. I'm so weak. We are starving now. We haven't eaten properly in six, seven days, and it is kicking the arse out of everybody. We need to yield and eat. Right, OK. Without food, we'll end up in big trouble. With Ben's fishing attempts proving fruitless, brain surgeon Mano is rallying the islanders to help put out the nets. So I, I'm going to make the suggestion we just walk it out or up to those rocks up there. But what are you going to tie it on to then? To everything around it. There's rocks. This is really quite rough. Yeah, but we have to try. Hey, come on, guys. We need to move it along. Mano, do I come with you or stay here? You move along. So as you walk down, just unravel it. Yeah. If people can get some rocks, yeah, and we'll just have to bed it down with the rocks as well. Mano has chosen to position the nets in one of the most treacherous parts of the beach's shoreline. Whoa, careful! OK. Keep on going. Have you fished this way before? Have I fished this way? I'm a boy from North London, consultant, paediatric neurosurgeon. I've never fished. Good job, guys. Hold on. That's really not going to last more than two seconds. This is really the full force of the Pacific. They really shred the net. Wait and see now, wait and see. Yeah, but wait. the only trouble with wait and see is we lose it and we shred it. We're going to be screwed. Well, it's better out than in, isn't yeah. it? Come on, guys. If we all come away with this just a little bit of bunts richer, come on. Despite another day without any food, the money remains a conversation topic. Well, you know, at the beginning, I had a lot of wobbles. Each and every one of you that have been kind enough to kind of give me a little bit of hope and strength. And I suppose that's what spurred me on to just thinking, keep the faith that we can all pull together, get as much stosh as we can and get off this island and spend it however we want to. Yeah. As lovely as it sounds being like that, it's not right that we all go home with the same amount because we all don't need that same amount. That's still not fair. I'm not a mug. Like, I can't just go around being Mother Teresa because where'd that get her? She's dead. Bottom line, if you grow for it and you find it, 
You deserve it. So when you're seeing that cat, I am the weakest link. I am not able to go out in that jungle. I know feel really bad about it. And what you've just said, you know, makes me feel worse because I can't contribute towards it. There's money. I think I find it a little bit embarrassing. And although I can't go tramping through the jungle, I'm not a beggar. This money has messed everyone up. Where does fairness come into this? We all eat together, so the food is shared. We get wood together. What makes the money different? If you're not physically strong, like Irene or Morag, do you deserve less? I can't believe the bloody capitalist bastards have got to you. <laughs> She's an angry teenager. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll grow up very quickly. <laughs> We'll be okay today, I mean, I promise yeah. you we'll catch you a big fish. I like your enthusiasm. I'm gonna sort the nets. Yeah. Oh, it would be nice if you had a fish on that net, wouldn't it? Yesterday, under Mano's direction, the islanders spent three hours anchoring the fishing nets. Shit! Come missing. Ah! Oh, God. Our nets have gone. They were right last night. Now they're not there. I don't know how. Anchored, it wasn't anchored. I mean, these tides are fierce. We've got the force of the Pacific coming into us. Is the old lot gone, do we know? Yeah. I can't believe that. This island is just pretty much saying no to everything that we ask of it. No to yucca, no to yeah. pineapple, no to fish. It's just no. And it's getting hard. Is what it is, guys. Yeah. Keep positive. It's a roller coaster. We're going to have a big high. It's been a bit of a shit it's roller coaster yeah, so been far. It's been, been on a low <laughs> bit. <laughs> I want to go on a yeah. high bit. I know, we will. We will. <laughs> There's a few tracks, actually. <laughs> Taxi for Ben. <laughs> With the camp in desperate need of food, Ben, Jack and Alyssa are heading into the jungle interior. I have no idea where we're going. I'm just following Ben at the moment, but I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. Ben! Yeah? Where are you, mate? I'm having a shit over here. Oh. I'm just finishing wiping my ass. <laughs> I'm going to remember this day. It was one of the worst days of my life. This is a real faff having to filter this, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's just turning the tap again. Yeah, imagine that. Whilst most of the islanders are out looking for food, Marco and Iva are doing the camp chores. So nice, especially when there's nobody here. Yeah, yeah. Then you don't feel guilty not doing anything. <laughs> we exhausted ourselves early on. We got, we got ourselves a nice little tree, which is still the biggest some. Um, Going. We were full of energy then, too. We were, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's nice to just sit back now. We can just relax. Restoring some of the um, depleted energy sources, at least. Yeah. There's a trippy up things. <laughs> yeah. These ants. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I've ensured there is enough food and basic tools on the island for the group to survive throughout, as long as they have the ingenuity to find them. Oh, my God, it's already starting to look thick. 
This is hellish. With their situation increasingly desperate, Morag and Irene have decided to brave the jungle and go hunting. Moses. There is nothing more I would like than for me and Irene to come home with some kind of big food, because we are basically starving now. I don't think a goat would be around here, do you? That's an iguana trail. There's an iguana in the tree. Oh, my God! To maintain their body temperature, iguanas come out to bask in the midday sun. But once disturbed, they are fast and agile, making them difficult prey. We can be as loud as we want, can't yeah. we, Mr Iguana? Because yeah. you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You're coming home to the pot. We're loud. We're your predators. Yeah. You silly son of a bitch. Oh, great shot, Barson. Come on, Morag, just remember your rounder's skills. Oh, what was that? Bum holes. With their rock-throwing skills falling short, Morag and Irene have devised a different plan of attack, closer to the ground. We're going to set up a trap, which is a bit of netting, which we've cut. Traps are not really my speciality, but we're going to give it a go. I'm hoping that he'll come on to it, because I'm hoping his claws catching it, you see him. Well, it's a waiting game now. What would you like to eat the most right now? <laughs> you know what I'll have. Fire mash. Fire mash. Fire mash. With the hunting parties returning empty-handed, there is only one topic of conversation. A pot noodle would be lovely. Oh, yeah. Pot noodle would be lovely, all right? Some donuts. Even something boring, just like, like toast with beans and cheese. Yes. Oh, white toast, butter, marmite. Oh, oh my God. I don't know about the mama. Guys, is that the net? Look. Oh, my God. That's the net. The net is there. The net is there. There they are, the bastards. The tide has come in, bringing with it the islander's fishing net. Has the net there? You going in? Yep. Oh, my. Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh. The man, huh? I'm not the most physical, I'm not the most energetic person in the world, but I do know that I've got a lot of grit and I do know that I've got a lot of heart. Come on, Pete! Come on, mother! Beautiful guys. Yes! At this point, to me, to see that net was like seeing a Mars bar floating in the water with no hesitation. I just have to go get them. Ben, I love you, man. Oh, Birdie, come in here. Because we need you. Morag and Irene are returning to check if their iguana trap has yielded any reward. Is this the other one, Morag? Shh, shh. Irene, Irene. Irene. Oh, she's bloody dead. Irene. Oi. Rogue. 
He's got it in the net! I've got him in the net! God, he got caught in the net! It's tail still in there. Oh, Morag. He got caught in the net and I had him for a second. Oh, Irene. It's common for an iguana to shed its tail when threatened. It continues to wriggle, distracting the predator while it runs to safety. Oh, look. I've got his tail. Jesus. Oh, how sad is that? I thought that was him caught. I thought that was him done. I thought we'd got him. So, iguanas two, Irene and Mo nil. This is who I'm going to get. And you better watch out, Iguana. I've got eyes on you. Oh, there's Marco with his sort of grotesque muscles. He's probably going to put his white see through underpants so we can all see the fruits of his loins. Not that we would look. No, I'm, I'm not interested in his bloody no. meat and two veg. I'm interested in what he's got in his bloody yeah. rucksack. I'm keeping in mind that, that there will be another helicopter drop, and as soon as I see the helicopter, I'm off. You know, my boots will be on, I'm, I'm gone. That's what I came here for. I've come from a poor background. You know, I've never, I've never had wealth, I've never experienced wealth, but... If I want something, I'll, I'll work at it and I'll, I'll aim to get it. Nothing's stopping anyone else going out. Mm -chap, mm -chap. What's he doing those press-ups for? It's not for us. He's biding his time. Press up, press up, press up, press up, press up, and then he's going to go. Getting his own money. I've just told Mo, like, she seems to think because she's picking winkles and that that she deserves an equal share of, of the money. She doesn't live in the real world, so... She doesn't? No. Why should we come here and play flipping happy families and, and split everything evenly? Right. You know, it's, it doesn't work that way. It's like the sort of sharks that are circling the water while the us little fish are floundering around trying to find some, and they're just slowly, slowly circling, slowly circling, and then when the time comes, they're just going to go... Hung. Do you know what? I'm here for you. I'm here for Irene. Yeah. And I'm here for Mano. Yeah. And Ben, obviously. Yeah. Me and Ben are yeah. together on this. Yeah. Huh? And we're here for good. And what everyone does with the money at the end of the day is up to them. Me and you both know that we'll look after Mo and Irene. That's that. Yeah. I just love the way Jeff and Ben want to provide for all of us. We're all going to have a little share of everything. It's just brilliant. I tell you what, I will do an Irish jig there and then if we've got a, an iguana. Desperate for food, Morag and Irene are trekking back across the island to check their iguana trap. Oh, the net looks as if it's torn. It does look a bit sort of ripped, doesn't it? Oh my God, wait a minute. Hey, wait the fuck a minute. What the fucking bum holes is that? Oh my god, let me go. Let, I've got the machete. Don't let it go away. Oh my god, we've got a fucking iguana! Oh Christ almighty! Let me get He's it! Dead. I don't believe it! Oh my god, we are the champions! Oh, I don't believe it! After all this time, we got him. You and me. You and me, the big hunters. We are going to provide everyone with a meat feast tonight. Sorry, we go on but needs must and we need tea. Hootsman, Hootsman, open me Bootsman, Hootsman, Hootsman, diddly diddly dee. Oh my goodness. Just a little something for dinner, boys. Oh, good <laughs> work. Oh my god. We might be old, but we can hunt. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 really 
really happy about that because now Mo can stop moaning and she can really feel that she's contributed food to the camp, which is just really great news. What do you think if we can eat those? It's a bit gelatinous inside. What do you think? In Central America, iguana eggs are a delicacy. A bit weird, but they might just be tasty. You never know. There's something that feels very sort of testicular about this. It's going to be pure protein. We wouldn't want to offend Mo and Irene, but something about this is just making me feel slightly queasy. Right, who's going to taste it? A bit longer. Oh, it looks like a scrambled egg to me. All right, have a go at that. Right. Tastes delicious. Does it? Yeah. Nice one. That is proper, guys. Can I go up? Hello. Can try some? Cheers. Take a big pinch. Oh, my God. We can do at least 11 portions of egg. Yeah? yeah. So we get one of them each, shall we? You're going to get one of those each no with a big... with a chunk of meat for your dinner tonight. Well done, Maud, Irene. I feel like saying to Marco and I have 500 quid for one bit of scrambled egg and meat. But you know what? I'm not going to be bitter. Do not be bitter, more egg. Brilliant. We've got ham and eggs tonight. That's it, ham and eggs. <laughs> Bloody hell, there's good meat on here. Unbelievable work from Irene and Mo, big meaty iguana, and the eggs, and we've had scrambled eggs, so it's been like an omelette. I'm so glad we got it, no idea, I'm so happy. And it's tasty and it's tender. Ivor. Yeah? That's a really big, nice portion. Thank you. To be eating this, and to know that it was us that got it, I mean, it's just weird. I've never done anything like this. This is my night of glory. Happy birthday, Benny boy. Cheers, mate. Today is Ben's 27th birthday. Benji Candell, 27. <laughs> Years ago, your mother started getting these twinges and she thought, oh, hey, up, something's happening. And on that fateful day, this dear, sweet little baby was born. And here is our little card to say oh. happy birthday to Ben. Thank you, everybody. This will be the most memorable birthday ever. Is it? Thank you. Out. Now, climb a ball, I've got you. Climb a ball, climb a ball. That's now, Ben. Or later. Come on, Ben, man. There we go. Re energised by their first meal in days, Jack and Ben are going line fishing with a salvaged fishing rod. Let's go. Ben's just a nutter, you know. You've got to love him. Other way, Ben. This way, yeah? Yeah. He doesn't have many skills, but he gives it his all. I'm going to try my best to teach Ben a lot about survival and, you know, not giving up and not being afraid. Ben, are you keeping yours going, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, a fucking helicopter. Shit. Shit. Bro, well, should we go back? Oh, my God, look, there's a helicopter. That's the helicopter. Surely there's got to be another drop. Hey! So where are my boots? Why did we... Quick, let's just get over here. Let's, let's keep paddling back, keep an eye on it. It might drop over on top of here. Come 
welcome those pants on already. That, that's all I'm waiting for. Are you getting ready to go off now, Marco? Yeah. Fucking hell. Can't you give us yeah. a chance? Well, go, Mo. I'm not stopping you. Marco has just left it. Being a Lisa, we just physically can't keep up with it. It's a fucking marine crook in this sink. I think, isn't it up and over round this way? I'm just looking round down in here, Mora. Oh, it's covered in fucking ants! It went. No! Jack and Ben are over a kilometre away from the peninsula where the money has been dropped. I'm going in. That fuck is mine. Fuck, oh, Ben, he's getting in, he's getting in. Come on, let's go, Ben. That knobhead's not getting there. Come on, Jack. Keep going. My team have dropped a cash box on the northeast peninsula of the island. Ex-marine Marco is half a kilometre away from the drop point. He's not having this. He's fucking not having this. Neck and neck with Ben and Jack. Come on, Jack, as much energy as we can. Do this for Irene, do this for more, do this for everyone. Ben? Ben, you're doing the wrong way, bro. You're going back to shore the other way, mate. Come on. Can you see the money still? Keep Come on, Ben. Let's go, Ben. This money. Where bass is it? Try around that corner. Ben. Have you got it? Ben, I think there's a parachute here, mate. Oh my God, I'm bringing it over to the team, guys. Come on! Woo! Come on! Get in! Get up and let's take it away from that greedy bastard. Can't believe it. Man. Jack, I'm so proud. We've done it. This is Jack. what we're here for, baby. Woo! 
anyway. Ah! I was on my ass, but for there, I just did that for everyone. For everyone. Look, we've got more coming here. Huh? Come on! Mate, have you seen what I've just done? I see you fucking coming, mate. I see you coming. I was like, no. Nah. I said, no way, he ain't getting here. Fuck that, Jack. <laughs> There's no way I'm not getting something huh? in that box. No, mate. mate, no way. I'll tell you that now, mate. No way. Well, I'm not getting any. Of course you're not getting any. After I've just No smacked. way, mate. If we're going to give it to you, you're sitting on 70 and a half grand. Oh my god, how exciting! Oh, my legs. That was the most adrenaline filled experience of my life. Oh. Unlucky. To have beat Marco to the money was just amazing. Just amazing for everyone. Fuck. There's more chance that a spaceship would land on the beach tonight than him get any of that money. We gave it our all. I, I've got to take my hat off to Marco. You know, he, he had heart for what he'd done to get around there, but he's a greedy bastard, you know, and I, I can't let him have the whole lot here. Come on! 10 grand. 10, grand. Ooh. 10 Gs. Well done, 10 Gs. Good work, man. We fucking worked hard for that. You're telling me. <sighs> Yes! Woo! You do not know how happy I am. You two found it. You guys, we were there yeah. supporting you. Did you hear us? Good on you. Well done. Okay. My boys. All oh, right. my God. Ah! Wow! You guys are getting looked after, all right? Oh, my God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's very hard, and I don't think oh, people like are like seeing it, all right? Yeah. Very, yeah. very hard. Mm. Right. I love you. Both yeah, we love Both you. Jack. I just think Jack and Ben are amazing. <laughs> I think it's so good. And you know what? Now it, there's a, an equilibrium amongst the camp. And then we started rowing, but it, it was a sheer race. It was top gear yeah. sort of shit. <laughs> it was. He did say he almost drowned, like. I'm not surprised. He had his boots on. Yeah. I felt like the underdog had won, like this David and Goliath match. You know what I mean? It was so exciting. When I first met Ben, he was, I felt like he wasn't my type of person, you know, he was making these silly jokes and he was lazy and not doing much. But I tell you what, I've got to take my hat off to him because he has given it his all and he's done the, he's done the business today. He really worked his ass off out there. And the second I saw his head pop in the water, I was like, fucking no chance. <laughs> no way, Pedro. Listen, he wasn't far off us. No. Boom. Yeah. That has to be one of the hardest swims of my life. You know, I'm sure the rest of the group are happy that I didn't get it, and you know, Jack and Ben did. So obviously, their their aim is to share a bit, but it is what it is. Fair play to them, lucky bastards. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That looks amazing. Okay. Come and sit down. Emily and Alyssa have prepared a victory celebration for birthday boy Ben. We're going to crown you. Let's hope it fits. Prince of the jungle. Perfect. Ivor, we're officially related. <laughs> ben has changed because, you know, he came here and he was all for himself. And then he's all for everybody else now. And then open your box. Your very own bra. bra. He just makes you smile. His goofiness makes you smile. Yeah, he's a bit stupid at times. Yeah, he does some daft stuff. Yeah, he gets you lost in the woods. Yeah, he drives you mad. But you can't help but love him. Beautiful. Lovely jubilee. Oh, sexy, wow. very wow. sexy. Come here, Irene, little dance for you. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I like your coconut, son! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, everyone. Such a change in them. The team couldn't have done without Ben. I think it just goes to show you. What a gentleman he is. His mum and dad should be very proud of him. I would have been as my son.
I'm having the best time of my life. Oh, yeah. Go on, man. Get it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and my life is better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to try, don't you? Worry? Everything that I'm taking away from this island will help me through fatherhood. It's also made me realise just how lucky I am. You know, I'm really good at just appreciate the simple things in life, like going to the fridge and picking out a roll of yoghurt. Please help me! The water is not safe for consumption. Nausea, vomiting, seizures, death. Oh, my God. Bloody hell! We've had a final kick in the teeth. The facts are real, like, we actually have no water. It's dried up. What the fuck do we do now? Shit! Chances are this is going to be the last money draw. Come on! Marco's away. Jack, Marco! If Marco went back on his oh, word, yeah. I would describe him as a see you next Tuesday.